Hello, and welcome back to another Rise of Empires Ice and Fire video with me, Mr. Gil. Thank you so much for all of your previous news, likes, comments, suggestions, subscriptions, comments, pizzazz, stuff, things, and all of that. <laughs> um, I really, really appreciate it, guys. Let's keep up the good work. I think we're at 10,700 subs now, which is brilliant. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, today we're going to be talking about early game research, research for your main. So, just to remind you, I've restarted the castle. I have seven farm accounts. This is the main account, be the Ray Gill. Um, and this is the account we're trying to maximize um, and use the other farm accounts to grow fast. Um, so when we come to research early game, what should we be focusing on? Um, well, a couple of things. Why does it always let me know to press the button? It's too close to the Alliance Center, uh, the castle. Um, there is a couple of things we should be focusing on. Now, first off, we're going to ignore rapid production for a little while. Now, obviously, this produces quite an enormous amount of resources on a daily basis, if you remember to press the buttons every day. Um, however, because we have the seven farms and the ability to use those farms to gain resources, we're going to let this sit for a little while. This is definitely something that we will need to do in the future, but we don't need to focus on it now. Our kind of focus has got to be on growing our strength and getting ready for first, Clash of Provinces, and then second, Rise of not rise, reign of chaos. <laughs> I'm getting very confused about all the different names in this game. Um, so we're going to leave rapid production and town development. What we are going to look at is doing a little bit of basic combat, because basic combat is going to give us the uh, more experience, I believe, if we attack. Where is this? We want to be able to promote our archers for sure. Uh, increase the hero XP received after leading troops to defeat marauders. Now, in the early game, defeating marauders is going to be our best way to gain experience for our, our, our heroes. So we really want to make sure that we can get to this. So basic combat is definitely going to be a focus. Um, but more importantly, I think class legion research is going to be where we want to really stick our thing. We want to get this as maxed as possible, um, as fast as possible. Now, a lot of you in the comments are going to be saying zone com, zone com, zone com. Uh, and if you don't know what zone commemoration is, it is a research that is available once Clash of Provinces has been declared in your state. Now, that doesn't happen uh, immediately. Um, it takes a few weeks for every new state to start the Clash of Provinces event. Uh, and Clash of Provinces, as everybody would know, lasts pretty much forever. Uh, it's a four-weekly cycle of attacking, uh, you know, daily events and daily ways to gain and daily tasks to do, etc., etc., etc. One of those things that comes with Clash of Provinces comes is Zone Commemoration. So Zone Commemoration is a research. This research uh, enables you to increase the points you earn from doing the tasks in Clash of Provinces. So it is incredibly important. However, because it's not available, we don't need to worry about it. What we do need to worry about is making sure that we maintain and hold our level of Courage Medal. So you can see here, Courage Medals, we have 33. We want to make sure we're getting as many of these as possible. Now, in the early game, the way to get these is obviously to attack certain levels of monsters, um, and you get them from various chests. So we're not going to be able to stockpile a huge amount but we do want to be keeping an eye that we've got Courage Medals. Now, there is a video on my channel, I think if you search on top, saying how to get Courage Medals, which tells you every way that you can uh, use in order to uh, gain more Courage Medals. So have a look at that video if you need a refresher. Um, but basically, in terms of early game research, what we're going to do here is we're going to definitely focus on... Get into it. We're going to focus on Class Legion first and Cavalry Training second. We're basically going to do these two back and forth as much as we can with a tiny little bit into basic combat to start. Um, now, I'm doing it this way and I'm doing cavalry and we'll have to do a video on why we're doing cavalry um, because I believe that this is going to give me the best opportunity to be as strong as possible for basically Reign of Chaos. So I'm looking a little bit further past Clash of Provinces to when Reign of Chaos starts. And effectively, Reign of Chaos is the game. I've said that many times before. It's a massive part of the game. Uh, and so when it happens, you kind of want to be ready. Now, it's roughly what, eight to ten weeks uh, after a new state, after a new kingdom or province or whatever they're called uh, these days, after a new province is kind of made. Uh, I think it's roughly eight to ten weeks before the Reign of Chaos event will start. So we do have time. We are roughly 20 days into this account, if I remember rightly, if not a little bit more. Um, so we do need to kind of get a little bit of a move on. We are a little bit behind. Uh, we could definitely do a lot more training. Now, why do we want these things to be uh, good? Because basically in Reign of Chaos, you're going to be attacking tiles. Um, and to take those tiles, you're going to need certain levels of strength. Uh, so by getting these two researchers done, Cavalry Training and Class Legion, 
we're going to be able to take tiles easier um, for sure. Uh, so that's basically what I'm going to suggest is and should be your focus. Let's get a bit of this done uh, for the beginning of the game. Now, <coughs> if you're not running farm accounts, so if you don't have any farm accounts, then you're definitely going to need to spend some time on rapid production and town development. But I, as I said, I'm going to leave these uh, for a little while. Focus on these two. Now, that doesn't mean that I can't be doing something. You know, research should be continued at every at every time of the day, so you should never not be researching something. Uh, and a lot of these early researches only take, you know, 5, 10, 15, 20, 30 minutes. So you can easily knock out a few every time you kind of log in. Um, and also, don't be afraid to be speeding them up. There's no point in saving any of your kind of research speed up. We've got five minutes here. If one takes an hour, we can definitely speed that up a little bit. Uh, like so. Yeah, an hour is fine. Because uh, obviously, if you remember rightly, in hourly challenges, etc., etc., etc. I mean, here we get increased one technology power. We do get some points for that, and we can open this chest. More likely, actually, for that is we should be training something because we want more the troops. Uh, oh wait, is this open? Crap! I think I can do heavy cavalry. That's annoying. Why does it reset back to that? That's very, very annoying indeed. Uh, but let's get some troops training, and then we can probably get that first chest. It's absolutely super important that we get the chest, by the way. Oh uh, wait, I can train that guy. Damn it! Why does it automatically set back to the one you don't want to do? Very, very frustrating. Okay, so but basically, in terms of research, early game, if you're running a castle with farms, okay, I would leave the production focus in research alone for a little while and focus instead on increasing the might of your class legion. Your class legion is always going to be your strongest legion. Um, and so I would focus on that. And then focus on the particular type of troop research. So at the moment, as I said, I'm focused on growing a lot of cavalry. So I'm going to be focusing on the cavalry research. Um, now, the reason I'm focused on cavalry, again, as I said, it's a different video. But, you know, that's kind of uh, the view I have at the moment. As soon as zone commemoration opens, so that would be when Clash of Provinces is declared in this state, which is, I think, well, we can kind of see, because Clash of Provinces has to come after Battle for the Throne. So I think it's going to be 21 days, so probably three weeks. I believe Clash of Provinces starts the week after the first Battle for the Throne. And Clash of Provinces is basically a state versus state or kingdom versus kingdom event. So we need to settle our own throne first in this state before we can then uh, start arguing. So I'm pretty sure it's going to be 21 days before Clash of Provinces starts. Um, cool. I hope that helps anybody who's starting out in the game. As I said, you know, we're trying to do a little back to basics uh, with this series, uh, focusing on some of the things, you know, for new accounts, people who are starting again fresh, uh, who maybe want to, you know, have a, a second account that they're kind of thinking on focusing on particular other things or trying to rush uh, to castle level 25, say, to get ready for Reign of Chaos. Um, these, this series, these videos are designed basically to kind of help you and uh, guide you in the right direction at the very start. So basic information here. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you uh, click the like button. Make sure you eat some cheese today. Kind of, it's very sunny here, so I'd probably go for something a little bit light. Uh, you don't want something too heavy. Um, good cheese today. You know what actually would be good? I think it's a kind of blue cheese day. And I know I just said nothing too heavy, and blue cheese it definitely has a lot of flavor, but it kind of feels like a blue cheese day. Hmm. Because then you could have like nice pear or apple, you know, with the cheese, and that's going to be kind of fresh. Yeah, I'd say get some uh, gorgonzola if you can. Maybe an Irish blue. Um, that's what I had yesterday, actually. That's why I'm thinking of blue cheese. I had blue cheese yesterday, didn't I? Fantastic. Sorry, I'm babbling. See ya. Bye.